when I turned it on, I was like, bam! <laughs> Turn it off, and I was like, I can't live without you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while that you haven't seen me, but it's because I am live streaming every Saturday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And until February, I will be hosted on the Frantic Ginger channel. I'm also on Twitch, I'm on Facebook, everything like that. So come check out my live stream. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the new, oh my goodness, Waves Abbey Road RS-124. It's a compressor. And what I want to show you is this. Now, full disclosure, full disclosure. I'm not a mixing and mastering engineer. And I keep saying this. I keep saying this to everybody. I am not a mixing and mastering engineer, okay? I'm used to compressor pedals for like the bass, right? And so I usually use pedals, right? And so you just want to basically, you know, mess with your input, mess with the output, make sure that the level's the same. And then what you're gonna do is you're kind of squashing. I mean, we all know how compressors work. And if you don't, I'm gonna give you real, a really quick and dirty. Basically, the really quiet notes, you're gonna bring them up to a level. The really loud notes, you're gonna bring them down to a level. So everything's kind of in this one area where it's controllable, nothing's peaking and no notes, no notes are lost. And so the way I used to use compressors is just to, I don't know why, but it would make my, my bass sound louder. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm not sure why. And, and this is what I want, what I want to tell you guys. If you're watching this video and you're also like me, you're not a mixing and mastering engineer. You're not somebody who is, is like a tweaking, you know, um, kilohertz where, where sounds are located in the spectrum and, and how they're going to mess with the, the overall sound. I play bass and I write songs and I sing. So that's the thing. <laughs> so I want something, and this is why I'm trying to uh, appeal to you guys from this, from this aspect, because this is where I'm coming from. I would just want a compressor that I just want to turn it on. And I want it to work. Like, like that's the end of the story. I don't want to sit around and mess with a million zillion knobs and mess with a bunch of stuff. Not that the, this doesn't have a zillion knobs. Most compressors don't. But... When I plugged, when I turned this on, basically, because you don't plug it in because it's a plug-in. <laughs> so when I, when I turned this on, when I engaged the on button for this plug-in by Waves, I, 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 know I, I know I said that in the beginning, but it's Waves. It's just, it's coming out today. It just came out today. So you guys got to check it out. There's a link in my description box with a, with a uh, it's an affiliate link. So that would be really helpful if you use that link if you're going to buy it. But anyway. When I turned it on, I was like, bam, like it already sounded so good for my vocals. So I was like, let me try it for the bass. And then I started messing around with all kinds of stuff. So on my latest album, Heaven is a Ghost Town, <laughs> for the bass tone, I didn't actually use an amp. I had this great engineer use a, a bunch of other things. And, and they, they were using all Waves plugins, basically. And they used something, they used... Um, the different version of this, it was the Abbey Road Saturator. But they got the most killer bass tone with that. So I was like, well, let me try the Abbey Road RS-124 compressor on my bass. So now I want to share my screen. So I, wanna, I wanted to show you some stuff. This session is for my live stream, so there's a lot going on here. But I just want to show you, um, you know, me turning it on and turning it off, the different sounds, and then I'll sing a little bit for you. So let's hear it with the bass real quick. So here's my bass track, right? And so I have um, I have an amp emulator already on there. So right, just my just my regular amp. There's no compressor on there at all. And then I turn on the Abbey Road. Here's what it looks like. You guys, it's beautiful. It's I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, for for you audio files <laughs> that that you know love the old gear this is this is just so cool you can already hear that compression i'm playing so light you know like w without this i probably wouldn't hear hardly any of these notes they would almost be like dead notes I'm not a complete audiophile with, with plugins, so I, there's gonna be other videos that are gonna explain like every single knob to you, but I just wanted to let you hear it. Let's, let's, make, let's, 
make slow recovery because <laughs> a lot of us experience slow recovery. And if you guys didn't notice, I'm using my Spectre Euro LT, which is an active bass. <laughs> I can really hear that with my finger attached. Let me get a pick. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it's, I mean, I know this bass sounds good. I know. Okay, so this. Okay, the reason I'm playing it with an, with an amp on my bass is because I usually would just not play without my amp plug-in, but let's just turn it off just to hear it. I'm going to normalize my beige and I'm going to go back to the vocals do, do, do. because I really got excited about this for my vocals. So let's see my settings. <sighs> Creepy as hell, right? Okay, but hear it without it. Hear it without it. Here we go. Here we go. This is without it. This is with it. And I literally just turned it on. I just plugged it in. Turned it on. I mean, installed it. <laughs> I installed it, turned it on. Turned it off, and I was like, I can't live without you. <laughs> Basically, that's how I feel now. So let's hear it in a song. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play one of my songs. I'm going to come back to my screen. And I'm going to play one of my songs that was actually just featured on the bass channel. This song is called Cross to Bear, and it's off my latest album called Heaven is a Ghost Town. I know I showed you guys already, but let me show you again. And it is available on... Bandcamp and then stream it, streaming it everywhere. But you can get signed autographed versions from me on Bandcamp. Anyway, so I'm going to play a song from that called Cross to Bear. And I'm going to sing this part where, you know, I kind of get loud. So let's see how the compression fares. And then I'll turn off the compressor. Okay, let me use it without it. Hold on, because I'm parched. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's do the same part with the compressor. Oh. You're going to hear every single breath. Actually, I think this would be incredible for like really low breathy parts. Let's try it. Well, well, you could, but you won't, but you your Let's do it again because that was pitchy. <laughs> Is off. Hello. This is my voice when it's off. Well, you would if you could, but you won't. What if you were them? And then this is my voice with it on. Okay, this is with it on. 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, you would if you could, but you won't. What if you were them? You're wrong. Well, you would if you could, but you won't. What if you were them? You're wrong. Okay, so I'm really loving this for the vocals. And the bass, it's, it's great for the bass. Great for the bass also. And great for the vocals. I mean, since those are like the two things that I do. <laughs> I mean, that's what I want to try it for. So I know there are other videos out there that you can check out with it possibly used on guitar and possibly like on the master mix level of the session. So and also I'm using Studio One and which I love. So yeah, check it out. It just came out today. It just came out today. So check it out and go to the link in the description box. Get it there. <laughs> okay, so don't forget to come to my live stream, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, every single Saturday. It's being hosted on my Frantic Ginger channel until February, and then also on Twitch and Facebook and all that stuff. So, okay, you guys, have a great day, and I'll see you later.